Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is just a few months away, and ever since its first reveal, I and many other fans have been pleading, begging, and praying for our beloved Baron Bird to join the fray. I mean, if you follow me on Twitter, I may have mentioned it a few times, but all the speculation and all the desire, it will soon come to an end. Now you can call this a theory video if you want, but I think we are past that. I think we are in the territory beyond. We are the undercover agent in the enemy base gathering concrete evidence. We all know about the Phil Spencer tweets. We all know about the smash ballot including Banjo-Kazooie as an option for people to vote on. And these things just show us that both Nintendo and Xbox teams seem interested. So that already seems like a surefire thing for Banjo to come in. But there are two more pieces to this puzzle. First, seemingly every single leak has included Banjo. Most notorious of these leaks is that of Verge Ben. Practically everything he has claimed to hear from his sources has come true. Ridley, King K. Rule, Simon Belmont, and even Isabel. But this specific leak I am speaking of is the leak in which he claims that not only will Banjo get revealed in Smash, but Microsoft will also give some sort of Minecraft representation as a way for Team Xbox to get something more out of the deal. Which honestly, all of that seems pretty likely. I don't know why Microsoft would want to put Banjo in and not at least include something else from their franchises. And seeing how big Minecraft is, that would seem pretty logical to me. And the second piece is the biggest one. We still have one more Direct before the release of the game. How do we know? Well, we still have one more mode to be announced, and Sakurai wants to reveal everything before the game releases. So with one more Direct, this means there is one more chance for Banjo and Kazooie. Guys, I am sure he will be announced at this upcoming Direct. I am positive. I am even willing to tell you how he will be announced. It will be at the end of the Direct. We will think it's pretty much over. Yet, we know because it's Nintendo and how they like to do things, they will have something big at the very end. You remember that heavily rumored Nintendo 64 classic? It will finally be revealed. Since the trademarks for the system appeared last year, we haven't really heard much about it. However, if Nintendo follows their trend with the NES Classic and the SNES Classic both releasing in the holidays of their respective year's launch, we can expect the N64 Classic to appear this next Direct, which will probably be in October, and the system will release this holiday to compete with Sony's PlayStation Classic. A battle of the early 3D era in the modern day. But this is how it all comes together. Nintendo will list off the games, Mario 64, Mario Party, Mario Kart 64, but why have a 64 classic without some of the best games the system had to offer? So at the very end of the list is when they drop it. They have made a deal over the licensing issues with Nintendo, Rare, and Xbox, and all three parties have come to an agreement to bring GoldenEye, Conker, Diddy Kong Racing, and... <laughs> yes, not only will they announce Rareware Classic games to come to the N64 Classic with the inclusion of Banjo-Kazooie and Banjo-Tooie, but at the end of that very same reveal, Banjo and Kazooie will get their Smash invitation. It all just makes so much sense, guys. I know I'm getting my tinfoil hat on, and I hope that you guys have yours on too, but I firmly believe this is how it's gonna go down. Well, I can dream, but honestly, guys, really, that's just how I see it playing out. And if not, and they don't make it, there's always this folder. <laughs> Thank you.